Hello everybody and welcome to the newest offering from Pathea and it's Let's School which is a school simulator. I did not know they were making this and I am very pleased as a avid player of things like Two Point uh, Hospital, Two Point Campus, that sort of thing. Very happy to see something like this coming from Pathea. So I'm going to start a new game. We're going to start career mode. And I'm going to go with the Sakura Valley. You could also go for Pay Any Springs if you wanted to. I imagine there might be some more maps added as the game uh, comes out. It's going to be um, out into, I imagine, early access. It says it's going to be out on the 27th of July. So we've not got long to wait for this one to actually come out on Steam, which is really cool. You've got some customization here. You can have a lot, a lot of customization. Prices and rewards, difficulty of management, the difficulty of their exams, you can put those down a little bit. If you're struggling, for example, if that's the only thing you're struggling with, is their exam difficulty, or you just want a bit more money or something like that, you can do that. But I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna go with normal difficulty. Not difficult, no, 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 we're not doing difficult. No chance. So, we've got a letter from the old headmaster. Hey, long time no see. I'm the headmaster of your old school. By the time you read this, I'll be travelling the world. Or escaping from the mess I made of the school. Do you remember the abandoned school you used to study at? I've hidden a treasure somewhere on the grounds. If you revive the school, that treasure is yours. That's why I asked you to take over. Please do what I dreamed of doing. Alright, so my name is going to be Miss Shelab. I don't think the Lady She Lab would fit so well in a school. Just my own personal take on it. So we've got some lovely, uh, we've got some different costumes and things we can use, different accessories. I might put some glasses on because it seems very teacher-like. I really do like the cardigan look. We've got a few different looks we can have though. We could have like a, more of a suit. Actually, that one is quite nice. I like that. I might just actually stick with that. So. We then also got loads of hairstyles, quite a lot of different ones, some more far out than others. I do like just a cute little ponytail, and just in case it was important to you, you can change the colour to any colour you like, including purple. Yes, yes. So I think that's everything for that. Clothing, hair, and body. Oh yeah, you can change the body around, but you kind of get a bit noodly when you go really tall, for example. So I'm just going to stick it at the average. Okay, so now you get to do things with your school. So we're going to call our school Snuggle Bug High. And we're going to have a little... It looks like a little sort of kiwi or something. I'm not quite sure. And we're going to have it on a circular background. We're going to have uh, either pink or yellow. I think yellow uh, beacon legs there. And then I think we'll keep him brown. But I think we'll do some pink and purple backgrounds. Lovely. So we can also change the school uniform. And there are some really cute ones. There's some really lovely ones. So I always like the sort of like more suit ones. That uh, the Japanese sort of. The little Japanese suits that they have. I really love those when I watch anime and stuff. So I'm thinking I might have one of those. I think that one looks quite nice. And I think there's um, a really cute pinafore on the female side, if I remember, that kind of matches. Well, the one, one is navy. That matches. Maybe we'll go with that, so you can have a little matching uniform. I like the idea of a matching male and female uniform. Okay. We are done. Uniforms are done, school crest is done, school name is done. So she lab is here and the school looks a total tip. It is not good. It is not good at all. Are you the new headmaster? I'm Ms. Lin, your assistant. Feel free to ask for help if you encounter any difficulties. I might not have had a lot of experience, but I'll do my best. All 
Right then. You do your best. Would you like to go through the tutorial? Okay, just for the benefit of you guys, we will go through the tutorial. So, move the camera to patrol the school. Zoom in and out. Rotate the camera angle. There's one more floor to the building. Let me show you upstairs. So you can go up a level. You actually get all the way up to eight levels on this. So you can build quite big, tall schools. Okay, go back to the... Uh... So we're getting the hang of adjusting perspectives. Let's see what we must do to run a school. So we need to admit students from around us and get the students into classes. We need to teach them their preferred course type. When they pass the exams, the school gains contribution points, which can be used to further improve the school. You can increase the school score by renovating the school, admitting new students and more. Next, please gain a higher score to upgrade the school. Let's aim to be the best. Right. So the first thing we need to do is... Uh, Building consultant Brick Johnson says, The building hasn't been used in ages. I'm sure you don't want your students to see this place looking like a dump. Let's tidy it up. So we're going to remove this room. We're going to remove that room. I'm going to remove some bits and bobs. I've never seen this place this clean and tidy before. We can now focus on our first day. Let's build a classroom. Students should have their own classes and seats. I will do that then. We'll tidy up a bit more in a, in a minute. When they're, when they're actually learning. Oh no, wrong one. Ah. Ah. I want to go facilities, classroom. Make a classroom. Put in a blackboard. Put in a teacher's uh, podium. Put in some doors and windows. Important because uh, they really, really like to have sunlight in this. Like quite a lot. And we need some discs. It's all shabby stuff at the moment, unfortunately. Oh, cute! You can have a lunchbox holder. I like that. But yeah, we need six desks in here for six students we're going to have. Boom. And we need to put a, a homeroom teacher in. Hi, I'm Edison Wee, the school's teaching consultant. Schools are the, sorry, students of the school's foundation. Visit the local community first. Okay, we're gonna go here. This is where the students of our community are gathered. There are a lot of children in this community who need to start schooling soon. We can renovate the admissions office here so the students may send in their applications. Okay. Boom. Verdant Valley, we need to renovate their admissions office for a thousand. Let's do it. We'll get nine applications per week. Student type, forgetful. Lovely. So they're going to want a sales major. They're going to want um, half humanities, half science. Oh, why have we only got four students? Well, I'll admit them all anyway. Time to place new students in the classroom and assign a homeroom teacher. That really sucks because until we get more students, uh, we're gonna kind of struggle a bit, aren't we? Oh dear. Homeroom teachers are needed to manage students, otherwise the students will have disciplinary issues. Now assign a teacher to the class as their homeroom teacher. Well, it says to do Ms. Lynn, but we're short on teachers right now, so how about you choose me to be the homeroom teacher? Okay, that's fine. Class preparation is complete. Let's unpause and let the school activities continue. During school hours, students and teachers will come to start a new day of life at school. Okay, I would have liked the full complement of six, though. Next application in eight hours. That really sucks because they're going to be behind if I admit them late. Headmaster, headmaster, come to the school gates to welcome the new students. I think we'll just stick with our four that we've got then. Our parents said we aren't smart enough to study, but we never believed them. I hope Snugglebug High can help those from Verdant Valley make our dreams come true. Okay, so what we need now is uh, we haven't actually made them a course. 
The students are all ready to learn. Let's plan out their brand new life at our school. These are the estimated exam results for the students in this class. You can make adjustments as needed. Okay. So there are four different types of courses. According to their aspirations, different students will need to gain knowledge points in the corresponding course types. For example, students with athletic aspirations will need sports courses, or those who want to learn robotics will need more sciences. Make sure your course schedule matches the needs of the students in the class. The estimated exam results are displayed on the right of the course schedule. Hover over each student icon to see details for that student. When you create the course schedule, pay attention to the estimated exam results. Make sure all the students reach the targeted exam results. There'll be an exam at the end of every fifth day of the week. The knowledge points each student has at that point will sorry, determine their exam results. After every exam, the students will graduate to the next class rank. After the third and final exam, they'll graduate. Students who achieve their weekly goals and exams will bring contribution points to the school. Students that pass the final exam will be accepted by their Aspiration University. This will generate even more contribution points for the school. I doubt we'll be able to do that within the, the scope of the demo, though. We'll maybe get to their first exam. Uh, next, schedule courses to ensure students are estimated to achieve the pass rate. Let's try. Put some uh, humanities in. If you press control, you can add more. But at the moment, it seems like it's going to be a bit of a struggle. So I'll, I'll have a little look at what we need to do. Looks like they're going to pass with that. Um, excellent work. With this weekly schedule, the students should pass then in the exams for this week. Don't forget to set up courses after future classrooms are created. I'm a bit worried though. If I create like a... Well, maybe I'll need to do it at the end of the week. I'd create a second classroom at the end of the week. Because otherwise, they're going to sort of... miss out on classes and then they probably I probably won't be able to get them up to their exam especially with the teachers only at 13 each so yeah okay that's fine we'll confirm I do need to I think finish the schedule out so uh, honestly I could put in something like some art or something for the end of the week they can just have some fun It doesn't matter that we don't yet have a teacher assigned to that. It's fine, as long as it's as long as it's done. So right there we are. So we're on in register time at the moment, basically. Why have we only got three students? There's four here. Oh yeah, you're a bit late. Okay. So they're all at least here for first period. Do literature in the morning and then in the afternoon we'll do other stuff so i'm gonna try and uh give some training though to miss lynn so that she can try and get a little bit better there we are i have had um times where miss lynn has only had 12 instead of 13 uh and then all the students are like destined to fail I've had times where there's been six or seven students to choose from and times where, like this, I've only had four. So it does seem a little bit randomised, to be honest with you. Right, while that's going on, I'm going to just clean this up a bit. I'm going to make them something nice because they're going to ask me to do it in a minute anyway. So I'm going to get a jump on it. And we're going to build a pantry. Now, a pantry is... A place where they can get water. Hot water. They can have cups. I've got a hot water flask. Um, and then I'm going to also need to put windows in because that's always what we need in this game. We always need windows. I already built a pantry because I'm clever. Then we need to build them some toilets. Because that will be the next thing they'll ask for. Uh, I'm actually going to change the doors over to a single door. And then we're going to put in like a little window like that. And then I'll go to the exclusive stuff and I'm going to put them in some stalls. Oh, 
It's E and Q, not mouse wheel to rotate, please. Uh, I'm also going to put some sinks in. I don't know if that's nece strictly necessary, but I will. Put them a mop in, put them a bin in. And then I think that is done. Then we're going to go for a men's room. With a similar size and a similar layout. Oh, great. Uh, can I undo that, please? I don't know. I don't know how to demolish. Yeah, I'm going to remove the entire facility. I messed it up. Uh, I'd be better off just starting again. I'm going to be honest. Okay, so let's change the door. Let's put the window in. Let's go to exclusive. Put in the stalls. Put in the sinks. I hope that they are all still set to pass their exams right now. I'm just going to check on the course. Nature calls. The students need toilets. Please hurry. Okay. We've done that. They are still all set to pass at the moment, which is great. Um, like I say, I'm just happy to stick with the, the few of them we've got. So the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to just take away some more debris and fix the place up a little bit more and then I am going to build I think I'm not going to extend the school yet I think we still have a little bit of room that we can use I would like to build a research room it needs to be 18 squares big so it needs to be a 6 by 3 at a minimum uh, I'm not sure why because and then you're going to put in a lead researcher's desk I'm going to put in a board. I'm going to put in a research desk. You could have more than one if you want. Uh, then I'm going to put in some windows. You always got to have the windows. Okay, wonderful. Ms. Lynn is, is really... Trained up. I might now do Miss Shelab as well. Headmaster's office and staff training room can now set training plans. Remember to train your teachers to increase their capability. Now open courses. Okay, so let's have a look. Increase the teacher's training. I'm going to increase Miss Shelab's training, I think. So that she can be a better teacher as well. Miss Shelab is a science teacher. Training has started. After some time, the teacher's capability will increase. So what I want to do now is to hire a couple of good researchers. A couple of decent researchers. So we need to actually go and start hiring. I don't really want to go with more students right now because it's... Oh, hang on. So it is estimated that... Oh no, that would be recruiting them. Students are heading home. The first day of school is about to end. If you've gotten used to the school yet, let's work hard and be the best school ever. Admit students. Get some good tuition for them, though. But would they pass? I'm going to admit one person because I want to force science whether admitting them a day late will be a bad thing will make them fail. I don't mind if they do fail, I just want to know. So I now need to admit you to the class. Signed you to class one. I'm going to have a look at the course. And it looks like um, they'll pass on the science just about, but they might struggle a little bit on the humanities. Because I need to, they need to be one more. Okay. 
So Machine Lab is training at the moment and then I will train up Ms. Lin again and we'll see if maybe we can just about get that, squeak that person through at, at the pass if we do enough teacher training throughout the week. Possibly. Possibly. Okay, the other thing we can do is have a little look at the teachers. Um, the science teacher with 21 training capability, 8 teaching capability, 12 research capability. Okay, well I could train them up definitely. Um, but none of them are very good teachers at all. So yeah, I'm gonna put you in the research room, I think. Uh, Joey Young, science teacher, but they are so expensive to recruit. Daily wage, oh, the daily wage is low though. Yeah, you could, Joey Young, I'm gonna get you and you're gonna go in here and start researching stuff. Headmaster, headmaster, I have something to say. Okay, what do you have to say? Slow this down a bit. Oh, nice. Machine Lab is. Right, okay, so I need to get. Ms. Lin up and. Hang on. We need food. The students are asking for a mess hall to resolve food issues. You need to research that first. We need to research the food tent now. Okay. I want to train Ms. Lin up a little bit more. The research room requires at least one researcher to be working for research to start. Teachers with research capability will research faster. Let's have a look at uh, how this one is doing. Yeah, so it's definitely going to be a case of training up Ms. Lin enough to get the humanities points there, but being a day behind really does cause an issue. So. Unless you have really well-trained teachers, um, it's probably better to do that at the end of the week. Why is that now algebra? Like, we don't have anyone that can teach algebra, so that's the problem. Like, I don't really get why it suddenly sometimes changes from one to the other. Um, I'm glad that the most of the kids are still due to pass, though. That's really cool. Right, let's uh, assign a, a chief researcher over here who's wanting us to. So, Joey Young can be our chief researcher. Begin research, select a research goal. For now, select the food tent as it can resolve hunger. Research has started. However, at least one person is required to work, work in the research room. The more researchers you have working, the sooner the research will be completed. So we actually do need to hire someone else. A chief researcher and another researcher. Well done it. Who's the best here? Oliver Cur Curie, sorry. They can work in there as a researcher. And I need to sort of click on the root. Uh, no, 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 no. I need to like add them in. You want to build a world class, uh, first class academy, you can let's, ah, you can work hard from different directions. Let's look forward to the future. I want our students to be found everywhere. It's a good choice. Let's work hard in this direction. In the future, you can check the completion of the victory goal in the future. Or you can switch to tracking goals at any time. Let's work hard in this direction. Uh, courses, is it? Auto scheduling? What? That will be useful later. I need to be able to add a member to this room. And I have forgotten how to do it. 
problem. Locked course. I don't... I don't understand why that's a problem. I want better courses. Now the direction is determined, go and see what to do. Sk click school level. It's telling me to do all these things and I haven't sorted out like the science yet. That's stressing me out a little bit. Um, victory goal. So you can see all the things that you need to do. So for our uh, capacity victory, I think we're going for, uh, we need 50 students, then we need 100, 150, 200, and 250, and then you've got to keep their satisfaction really high. Um, if you want to do a teaching victory, you can do really like good teaching and get them to educated with uh, five-star aspirations. Or you can just have an amazing building score. Those three things will all do victories for you. Yeah, it does sometimes drive me a little bit mad um, trying to work out how to add people to things like the research room and stuff like that. We've got four student applications. We've got ex no teacher assigned. What? What the heck is going on there? Okay, they're still going to pass just about, but my goodness me, this is... Okay, she lab is now assigned. So I don't really know what's going on there. Not enough food. We need more researchers. Oh, here we are. Yes, we have to go there. Okay. And then add Oliver Curie in. That's what we needed to do. Right. Sorry about that. It took me ages to work that out. So what we needed to do was to go into a little cash flow there. We've got a building score there. I need to look through these these things. Oh yeah, build. We've got satisfaction, overview, how we're doing compared to other schools. Finances, guide. Cool. I'm just training up the teachers as much as I can. One department under, under excessive stress. Try rearranging the department structure or change managers. These guys. No, they can they can just carry on. No, go away. Research or food tent. I don't care. I don't understand these, like, when they were put in as Literature 101 and then they were changed to Literature Fundamentals. And I really don't understand why that happened, why the sciences are changing to Algebra when they haven't even been unlocked yet. Right, so I'm going to confirm that. I'm going to have a quick look and see if changing her... No, she still needs some more training. Maybe if she can get up to like 20, she might just be able to pass that student. We'll see. I'm hoping they can do their research soon. The no teacher assigned is probably for the art at the end of the week. Not enough food. Change the managers. Well, I think that's something that can happen later. Um, the staff are going to probably need a break room pretty soon, but they're going to have to research that first. <laughs> so hopefully they'll be done with that mess hall pretty soon. Oh yeah, it's nearly there, so we can give the students food. And that will actually earn us a little bit of money as well, because you may have noticed the money is just draining out. 
Uh, so we're going to next research. I think the next thing they're going to ask for is um, going to be... A, oh, I can put junior science, intermediate science. Unlocking algebra and things. Yeah, let's do it. Next question is, can I... Oh, I can't... No, okay. But if I very quickly um, do those courses, then I can put some extra courses in at the end of the week where we've got those art classes that we really don't need. Then I'll put in a... Then I'll get them to research a teacher's lounge. So maybe we'll be able to get dude over here to pass. <laughs> Because I'll maybe be able to put in some um, literature fundamentals and things. It's actually literature they're going to fail on though. I'm trying my best to train up the literature teacher. But yeah, it's hard work getting them to back up to snuff after yeah, missing an entire day. That's really difficult. But I'm going to just make this go a little bit faster. The debris there I can get rid of. And then we're just gonna... It looks like it's Literature 101 and Science 101 all day tomorrow, so that should be fine. Then I'm gonna be taking out the Arts Fundamentals and, and replacing them with whatever this person needs. Which will probably be some extra Humanities courses. Which is, of course, why I'm doing the Junior Science course. I should be doing the Humanities course, shouldn't I, really? I think it does save it. But yeah, I'm going to do the Humanities first. We'll go on to a nice high speed. And in the meantime, I'm going to build them a nice uh, mess hall. I'll do. Okay, half the week is over now, so we must keep a close eye on every classroom's aspiration progress in schedule and ensure as many students as possible achieve their goals. So let's get them a one meat, two veg combo. And I need a nutritionist. Oh, I think I need to hire someone new for that. Um... Whoever's cheap to recruit, I guess. Art teacher, he'll do. You're now the lunch lady, apparently, even though you're a teacher. That's one thing I think they could do within this, is maybe having things like um, janitors and lunch ladies and things like that. Might help. Kids are all gonna come and spend all their money. Lovely. Someone has demands. Uh, the teachers want a break room so they can recharge their work energy. Which is going to mean, I think, a little bit of a an extension to the building, unfortunately. So I'm going to have a little go at that. Uh, first, I'm going to find out how big a teacher's room has to be. Oh, we haven't researched the teacher's room yet. So we're not even, we're not even there yet. No, I'm not clicking research. I want my new course first. Thank you. Once the new course is done, the new humanities course, and then I can rearrange the course schedule a bit. Then we can research the teacher's lounge. Okay, just give it a minute. It's not my fault they can't even build a break room. Keep studying, Miss Lynn. Come on, Junior Humanities course. I need you done. Yes, continue research. So the next one we want to do is the teacher's lounge, the staff break room. So that's going to take half a day to do. And in the meantime, I'm going to expand the building a little bit. So... I don't know how big it has to be, but let's just, um... Buildings. 
teaching building. Let's just expand it maybe like that much and hopefully that will be enough. That'll be expensive probably, but never mind. So that's busy doing its thing. Um, we're halfway through the staff break room. Right, so let's quickly, before we get to the end of the week. Oh, he's going to pass now because she's so much better at teaching now. Yes. Take out all the art courses because we do not need them. And put in some more humanities courses. Oh, they're amazing at humanities now. Okay. Um... We'll put, in, we'll put in some more science courses, maybe. I don't know what I want to do now. Because we can do literature fundamentals now. Which is great. But what I may do is change that over. They're all going to pass with absolute flying colours on the humanities side. But I do need to start working on getting the science side up. But I'm happy enough with them passing like that. That's brilliant. Okay, so the extension is nearly done. They're happy with their mess hall, seemingly. Um, needs more researchers or construction of a research room. What does? Oh, right, yeah. Probably the staff are a little bit unhappy. But building them their new staff room should help with that. If they will come back... Not enough staff breaks. I may need... I may need to put another research... Have another teacher as a researcher. Put another research desk in. Um, let's do that. My head researcher isn't working either, though. School satisfaction decreased to medium. Come on, researchers. I know you're a bit buzzed out. But just half a day's worth more work and you're going to have an amazing staff break room, okay? I'm going to put one more research desk in there. Hopefully, that means that someone else can work in here. So I need to go to the research and then add an extra researcher in. Um, William Evans. So hopefully they'll be less stressed. Two more days till exams. How are the students doing? Pretty well, actually. If their progress slows down or stops, remember to swap in a more suitable teacher before it's too late. Come on, we'll get you your staff break room and you can all go and have breaks and you'll all be happy and it'll all be wonderful. work out how to shape this I may actually extend it out here and to get more rooms in and maybe even out this way make it a bit more square staff break room can help alleviate fatigue and reduce stress yes great I'm actually gonna pause it while we build it because yeah and then I'm going to put in uh, junior science courses So, locked. After completing the junior course, continue the humanities education with the intermediate course. Do I need school reform? No. Hmm. Suggested capability, 51. Oh, I wonder whether you have to have science and humanities open before you can continue the, the courses on. 
it wouldn't be the first time that I've seen that happen. So yeah, let's do the junior science because it's only half a day to get that finished. And then I can see if it unlocks the rest. Again, for science. Courses are going amazing. Probably don't need nearly as much. I'm gonna get, uh, are we training machine lab at the moment? I don't know. I never know who's training, unfortunately. But that's fine. We're, we're doing well. And that is the main thing. Probably the next lot that I put through, we'll probably be able to get them up to like a full um, exam pass. Like these guys are full on humanities, but they're not full on science. So if I can get that extra science course, I can just have them learning science for the rest of the week. Which would be amazing. So let's just, I'm just gonna take out a couple of the literature ones. Yeah, so we still don't quite manage. Do I get to choose the courses? No. But yeah, maybe I'll just stick with what we've got at the moment and I'll just keep on training them up and eventually it'll be it'll work. What is this? The cat is so cute. Shall we keep it? Yes. Sandy the cat. Nice. You'll take care of this little guy, right? I think so. I saw a couple of furniture options like cat litter boxes and things. I'm sure I did. Build furniture. Cat litter box and a cat tower. <laughs> and a food bowl. <laughs> Got a little bit of I might give the cat his own room later, but. Fire alarms, rubbish bins. I'm not seeing too much rubbish around at the moment. Oh, actually, this this place is rubbishy. Put bins and things in. Oh yeah, we need to cover the whole place. To keep it clean. That's a cleanliness menu, look. I'll put a bin in the corner there, look. That should be good. Okay. So teacher's lounge is the next thing, which is why we are paused, because I don't want them to go a minute longer without having refreshments. Um, so I'm just going to put it in here somewhere. I'll probably rearrange everything. Well, I probably won't, because uh, we've only got about 15 minutes left of what I want to actually record here, but it's fine. It needs to be 18 squares, so 3 by 6 will be fine. But I'm going to do it 3 by 8, just because we've got that much room. May as well. I've got a nice bench there. And they can have some decoration. They can have like um, mops and bins and stuff maybe to keep that place clean. Um, they need a coffee station apparently. More long sofas. Landscape painting. Oh, that's pretty. Coffee table. Coffee station. There you go. There's your break room. I hope you like it. We'll probably make that less long and thin next time, but never mind. So, um, oh, no windows. Every time. Get those windows every time. There, now it's a nice bright coffee room for you. Lovely. Right, student applications, and we've got an under excessive stress, but that should hopefully sort itself out now we've got the break room. So let's go. So we need to get to the end of this week. You can play two weeks in the demo, but I'm only going to do one week for this recording. I'm just going to basically try and see if we can get them to be. can get them to pass their exam, their first exam. But I think this has taken a little bit of getting used to, but once I have gotten used to the way it all works, 
I'm still having a little trouble sometimes finding certain menus and where things are. Um, but it, that's all just practice. Totally just practice. And as we get more courses from the research room, um, the, t the students are going to do so much better. I'm really actually looking forward to playing this one when it comes out properly. I'm also looking forward to Paleo Pines hugely when that comes out, but that's going to be a bit later down the line. I think that's more towards the autumn, possibly. New student applications will be sent in batches the first three days. You can then use the next two days to focus on teaching the students. I wouldn't ever get new students in except in a the first day or two. Right, more research. What can we do? We get some arts and things in. We could do um, school reform. We could do campus security, which hasn't really been an issue so far. We could do clubs, school reform, reform two to do clubs. Park. Provides entertainment for all. That sounds nice. Why not? Hopefully they'll go on a, a break soon. We need to go on a break, I think. I don't know if I can like click on the individual and send them on a break. Or schedule in their breaks or anything like that. Oh, maybe they've got... Oh, yep, they've gone on a break. Lovely. That's starting to help. Uh, bill 5,220. So we're not doing very well at making this place profitable yet. Um, I've had to cater to a lot of needs and do a lot of extra buildings and things like that before we've actually started making any money at all. So the finances are absolutely terrible. You can get loans, look. So if you're really struggling... So you get daily tuition in. I didn't get enough students for a start. Um, so their daily income versus the teacher's salaries. Because I'm needing the teachers in the research room, I'm going to need more classes of children to try and balance that all out. But that will probably come in the second week. That's why you've got 80,000 to start with. Um, diff. Maintenance costs are 128. The research room is expensive. And the shop actually brings in 400. So we bring in 1200 and our expenses. Yeah, we're nearly balanced out. So if we put one more classroom of children in, we'll start making profit. It's fine. Can also do a little bit of demolishing to make a bit of money. Oh, that was 800. Wow. The well over there. One of the kids is doing breakdancing on the well. That's clearly what happens when you have a well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Weekly exam is today. Okay, so this will be the end of the episode then. After school, the students will head over to the exam venue. We still have the whole day. Remember to check on the students and rearrange the courses to ensure that they can do their best. Yeah, let's have a look at the courses. Oh, they do not need all this literature. Oh, maybe they do need a bit of it. They're going to pass quite well, I think. Exam passed, exam passed. They're not quite, like, fully there yet. So 35, you're on 35, you're on 36, you're only on 33. I am going to change that last one to a science one. And maybe that one to a science one as well. They're going to do really well. 85, 88, 66, and 82. That's not bad considering that's like the first week. Yay! We've got a park complete. I'll put that in in a second. 
Continue research. I think school reform is going to be the next one. That's a big one, isn't it? Alright, so let's see about putting in a park. That's going to be amazing. Minimum size 30. Can I put it here? No. this then all oh, right that's the, the the way in okay like a, a cat sculpture thing a cattery I can put in like a seesaw I can put in a little cat house for the cat This is brilliant. An ice tray. There's someone that doesn't like uh, heat. So they might really enjoy that. A little fountain. Oh, you could do a slide. I don't know if we've got room for that. Might be a bit of a squeeze. Maybe I'll move that guy somewhere else. There you go. We've got a park for them all to play on. That's amazing. Look how good this place is looking now. It's looking so good. Well, they've got one really stressed out teacher there. Staff breaks needed. I don't know how to put staff breaks in or to, uh, like whether I can schedule them or what. Uh, I've given them the break room. Maybe they will just go and take their break. It's probably just the accumulation of all the days that they didn't have a break room. Everyone else seems pretty alright. But other games like, um, for example, Planet Zoo and uh, play, uh, I think a lot of the two point games do have uh, options to give breaks. Uh, on command sort of thing for that sort of situation so I don't don't really know I at the moment I'm gonna have to just let him sort himself out I think oh right you are the manager of that department so what we probably need to do is to change the manager on the research room over okay Do I do that? Oh, here we are. You can be the manager instead. And then... We can just put uh, Joey in as a researcher. Uh, Joey's still really, really... Oh, here we are! Take a break. Oh, verbal support. There you go. You're in the teacher's lounge now. That's nice. So you do have options to, to help them out when they're feeling a bit... a bit bad. Slacking off is the best. No one's around to say anything. Reprimand. I'll head back to work right away. What's your, your deal?
confiscate contraband. Pleased to meet you. I'm Miss Beatrix, a representative from the PTA. I hear you've been confiscating forbidden items from students. That's not good for the children's development. You'll need to return those items to me. I'll be handling the rest. You'll gain influence by recycling contrabands. Except. What? You didn't confiscate anything? You have to check with students' inventories for contrabands. If you wish to recycle any contrabands, I'll be waiting by the school gates every Friday, 10 till, till 4. Keep an eye on the clock. I won't wait a second longer than I need to. Oh, interesting. You can recycle their contraband. Well, I never knew. I'd be good for the money side of it, which, like I say, I've not been worrying about too much. Um, I don't think it would take much to get that balanced out, honestly. I do spend a lot, but that's fine. We've got mostly a working school going here, and a teacher's lounge and everything. Probably a small extension for another classroom would be needed, and then we'd be all good. How are you doing now, Joey? Still very stressed. Verbal support really helped. But they're no longer doing a managing job. So hopefully their stress is going down. And at the end of the day, I'm going to go up in speed a little bit because I want to see their exam. I said I'd play this for an hour and we're pretty much bang on an hour actually at the point we're getting to the exam season, so hurrah. Maybe I could get I could give them a break from researching, not research things back to back so much. That would allow them just to go and take some time out. Exams will be starting soon. Would the teachers please lead the students to the exam venue? It's time for the exams. Let's head to the halls. What will happen? Let's wait and see. Go on, my guys. Wonder how they did. We had five students pass. We got 3,000 money reward. So some of the money that we lost during the week will actually be given back to us through the money reward. We'll be back up to 60,000 then, which isn't too bad at all. And then we've got some points contributed to humanities and science, which is wonderful. But I am going to leave it there. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode. And if you did, then please do leave me a like below if you'd like to see more. Uh, or come back and see this when it uh, comes out, because I'll no doubt play it a bit. Uh, then please do subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.